Mr. Mathlog here, and this lesson is on add and subtract parts of a whole. We're just getting ready to start uh, getting uh, some common denominators. But first, here we're going to extend our prior knowledge by building fractions from unit fractions. And our essential question is uh, when can we add or subtract fractions? So I have examples. And this is uh, section 7.1 in the book that I'm following. Okay, so parts of a whole. Let's just do a little prior knowledge here. So write fractions uh, that names the shaded part in each, okay? All right, so here uh, I have six equal parts and four of them are being shaded. So I'm going to say that one is four out of the six, so four six, okay? And you can represent them also as two thirds. Can you see that there's two, um, I'm sorry, these two can count as one, these two can count as one. So here is one, two of them out of three of them being shaded. So four, six, or two thirds right there. Okay, over here, there's uh, eight of them and three of them being shaded. So this one's gonna be three eighths. All right, here, um, this one is uh, one, two, there's three uh, long skinny rectangles and two of them are being shaded. So this one is two thirds. Okay, and then this one's the same figure except uh, it's cut in half right here. So it made six of them instead of three of them, and four of them are being shaded. So, so uh, this one's going to be four sixths, okay? And notice four sixths is the same as two thirds. It's the same figure as this guy over here, all right? Okay, so um, uh, okay, so Mrs. Heinzen, uh, Mrs. Heinzen's class had a pizza party and had the following pieces left over. If she combined the pieces on the same dish. How much of the pizza will be on the dish? Okay, so looks like over here is half of the pizza right here, and it looks like this one is um, looks like it's about a sixth of the piece of pizza. It looks like it would go like it would fit perfectly right there. So if I put them together right there, there they are together right there, and then here's a model that represents that right here, and then I can see that there's going to be four of the six pieces. So four sixths of a pizza is on there, or or two thirds, as we saw in the prior example. Four six reduces to two thirds. Okay. So now suppose Mrs. Heinzen. Whoops, that's a capital H. Golly, uh, Mrs. Heinzen. Let's get that back in there. Capital right there. Uh, sorry about that. Mrs. Heinzen eats two pieces of the pizza. So how much uh, will be left on the dish? And so model this problem with uh, fractions and circles. So I know I didn't capitalize it here. Let me capitalize it right here. Sorry about the technicalities. Okay. So uh, she eats two pieces of the pizza right there. Okay. So she, we're going to take off these two pieces right here. Okay. So when we took off two pieces, there's two of them left. So two of the six. So two of the six reduces to one third. Okay. And notice this is one third. Here's one out of three pieces right here. It's one third of the pizza right there. Okay, so two six represents one third. Okay, check this out, you guys. We started with four six, and then uh, and then she ate two of the pieces. So there, uh, we took away two of the six pieces left, and we're left with two of the six left. So so four six minus two six equals two six. Notice the denominator stay the same. Okay, stay the same as six. All right, so try this, you guys. Vern says that when you combine three pieces of pizza and one piece of pizza, you have four pieces of pizza. Explain how Vern's statement relates to the equation below. Three six plus one six equals four six. Okay, so so um, uh, three plus one are, are the numerators of the equation, but when you're talking about fractions, they tell you the size of the pieces. So uh, when we're talking about six size of the pieces, these are all in terms of six right here. Uh, if we didn't have fractions, then you wouldn't be able to tell what the size of the pieces are right there. So without the fractions, you don't know what size of the pieces that you're talking about right there. So, okay, and I have another uh, one in just a second here that will explain more about sizes. Cheryl wrote the equation 1 half plus 1 6 equals uh, 4 6. And Richard wrote that uh, 3 uh, 6 plus 1 6 equals 4 6 to represent the same combining uh, to represent combining the pizza the pizza pieces, the same pizzas right there. So explain why both equations are correct. Okay, so why is um, uh, uh, Cheryl's equation right here and Richard's equation right here both the same equation right there? Well, can you see that 3 6 is, um, is equal to 1 half right here? And, and Cheryl just recognized that, you know, the 3 6 of a piece of pizza and the 1 half of a piece of pizza are the same right there. So I think uh, we have something like that right there. So 1 half is equivalent to 3 6, so they represent the same amount. All right. All right. So try these. Oops, I forgot my fraction bar right there. So 
Uh, see, do I have my fraction bar? Yes, I do. So if there is if there is four sixths of a pizza on the plate, what part of the pizza is missing from the plate? So write an equation to justify your answer. Okay, so if four sixths are on the piece of the pizza right here. Here's my four of the six pieces right here. What part's missing? There's two six of the uh, pizza missing right there. So two six or one third of the pizza is missing. Okay, so the whole pizza is six six of the pizza. So six six minus four six equals two six. So when you take away the um, the the four six that are on there, that means there's two six left that uh, that's missing right there. Okay, six a six pizza and uh, four six uh, that are there, and then so you take that off, and there's two six left. All right. Okay, one more, you guys. So putting this together, so you can. Um, you can only join uh, or separate parts that refer to the same whole. So, for example, suppose Kathy had one-fourth of a round pizza and she had one-fourth of a square pizza. Are these pizzas the same? Well, no, they're not. Even though this piece looks like it's kind of close to this, this, this is not because this comes from a circle and this comes from a square right here. So are they the same? No, they're not the same holes. The hole on this one is a circle and the hole on this one is a square. They're not the same. So, so um, uh, the holes are the whole pieces, not the holes like a hole in a donut or something, but the holes, as in whole pieces, are not the same. They're not the same size. This is a circle. This is a square. So does the sum 1 fourth plus 1 fourth equal 2 fourths make sense in this situation? No, it doesn't because we're not talking about the same uh, holes of the force right there. Okay, so they're not the same right there. So uh, the circle fourth size and the square fourth size are not the same size or the same shape. All right, that's it, you guys.